I have hit a 21.43 Koopa Troopa Beach shortcut lap in two-player Grand Prix mode. It's still worse than my non-shortcut lap from one-player Grand Prix, which makes it even more of a meme. But if I get a really crazy run, I might be able to beat my non-shortcut time, making it slightly more official for a human shortcut record <laughs> on Koopa Troopa Beach. <laughs> of course, I think it would probably be easier for me to just beat the non-shortcut record without a shortcut. But I'm going to try the shortcut here. So basically, here's the story. Um, Soft Syrup sent me a message with some super old... A Japanese website it was all in Japanese we translated it there was a, a description of a Kuba True Beach shortcut on this page there wasn't anything else interesting on the page if you're wondering I, well it was it was interesting but it was all stuff that we know about um, but there was this two-player Grand Prix shortcut that it's not really a shortcut because it's long a long cut <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the description took, it was translated, so it took us a while to figure out what it was actually saying. Then I finally got something to work. And, yeah, so that's what I'm going to show you guys here. And I'm going to see how it goes. So, yeah, credit to Soft Syrup for uh, finding this. And then credit to some random dude from Japan, unknown, finding this probably 20 years ago. That being said, it's just kind of like a two-player Grand Prix meme run. Nobody in <laughs> two-player Grand Prix is like... it. It's only This is only possible in two-player Grand Prix as well, or it seems that way. So, yeah. But this strat would be used for like a two-player Grand Prix TAS or whatever, Weatherton could use it like in combination with the like rock jump probably and get a faster time. So I'm just going to show you guys once basically what how this works. So basically I have to drive both of these characters to the first ramp. I'm going to set Peach right about right uh, right here. And now, with Yoshi, I'm going to drive around to the next lap. And do a lap attempt. Alright, so here we go. First try, on stream. I go here, sit right here, and then I bump Yoshi through the, the wall. See, like, I've already lost, like, now I'll just explain it since it's already too slow. So basically I'm gonna bump Yoshi through this wall and he's gonna get placed down a little bit to the left. Um, and then I can bump him while he's getting placed and he won't have any floor to be placed down on. So now he's in the ramp and as a backup, he gets warped straight to the finish line. <laughs> so, kind of, kind of cool. Um, very rare, like, I was trying to find other places where this might be useful, but it's like, it's just not there aren't there aren't places where like the path markers are like right next to like a vertical wall that you can just like bump someone into or whatever so it's just like maybe not really useful other places it's not really useful here honestly but i did pull a 2143 and that was really hard for me to get so i'm going to try uh 
to see if I can just get some like god run where I just perfectly bump myself into the wall with like almost no setup at all. Like you could totally task something really nice with this though and just like fly in there. But yeah, I don't know if I can beat 2060. How does this save time? It would, it's a lap, it would be a lap record. Like you wouldn't do this for a three lap. I mean, you could, like a task maybe would do it for a three lap, I don't know, but. I'm really just trying to do it for a single lap. Which makes it even more of a meme. Because I'm in two player Grand Prix doing a lap attempt for a shortcut that questionably isn't even faster. <laughs> this is like the the ultimate of irrelevant records, but it's kind of interesting. Yeah, <laughs> irrelevant records are, are sometimes the most interesting. I need to do the rock jump at the start. Maybe that's the only way. Perfect bump. No, it has to be like first try or else it's just over. I should have driven around because now I gotta do this whole setup again because I got the warp. Oh no, I didn't, yeah, because if I don't, I didn't do the second part, so yeah, good. I can just go to lap three and do another attempt. I have to get this like perfect turnaround. Oh my god. No, I used the star! <laughs> I accidentally hit Z. Yeah, that's great. I bet. Uh, it's, it's really hard to get this perfect to make it like actually fast enough. There, it's clearly... It's clearly possible to get a better time, but it's like... This is probably harder than it looks to like line this up perfectly and get you have to you have to be going so slow with peach to like bump the other player through the wall so you have to just barely scoot forwards so to like position all of this perfectly and kind of practice on uh, lap one if i fly around here i gotta turn and then stop right in front of the wall and then peach has to like see it'd be better if i was stopped directly in front of peach you know so like I'd want to be like over here or something, but yeah, it's uh, it's tough. Star. All right, here we go. I missed the mini turbo. Dang, this is slow now. No, the bump didn't work. Dang, dude. <laughs> it's gotta be perfect. Would it matter which character does the bumping? No, not really. It's, I have found it easier just to use ones that are the same weight, but like, as long as you're going slow enough, I don't think it matters. Oh man, too bad I wasn't bumping Peach into the wall. Basically what I was doing. Ah, and this is slow. This is like a 25, maybe worse. Yeah, 25.81. Difficult. Very difficult. Yo, all right. This might be like a 21 though, I don't know. That was like decently fast. 2175, so yeah, I mean, there's a good example. Like I would have to set up a second better than that. So 
this is is pretty tough to do a lot better than that honestly like you really have to like perfectly like you pretty much my only hope is like landing just perfectly in front of peach to where i like don't have to adjust at all and i can just like tap the a button <laughs> And Yoshi just goes through the wall first try. Yoshi doesn't have to face the ramp, no. Like, I could... I could back up or something into it. I guess that's... Yeah, if I came over here at speed and then I, like, did this and just backed up. I guess that's something to try. I mean, in theory, if I... If I used, like, Bowser instead of Peach, I could just, like, slam into Bowser and maybe I would fluke just getting launched through the wall, but that'd be super difficult. Yeah, I think I could go through the side. The problem with going through the side of the ramp, if I went through the side here, I would still get placed down right here. So I would have to drive around with Peach, and I wouldn't have, like, a lot of time to do that. So it would make it harder. And the ground is kind of sloped here, so it'd be, like, hard for me to, like, keep the cart there. I could do it on the other side, I guess, but... Yeah, it would it'd be tough to drive Peach around, so... Yeah, we need, we need all of Chad's brain power to try to find another track where we could do this exact same thing. Oh, I have an idea. Find a setup for a banana... Oh, because the to make the banana make me stop? Oh, you're saying make... Uh, that actually gave me a much better idea, which would be just placing a fake item. I could just place a fake item right here and just slam into it at full speed. Or I could, I could place a fake item on the very top of the ramp, maybe. Like on the very edge, like right here and just fly up the top yeah it might be a lot of air time though i don't know yeah that's kind of a problem i guess oh cool oh and then all the cpus will hit the fake item so yeah, i don't know about that but see but hmm. yeah it's like i could potentially just put a fake item box like right here I can't see. I need I need Peach over here so I can see. Well, I guess I can back up. See if I if I flew around though and I hit that, like even then I would have to hit it pretty direct on, and I don't think it's close enough to the ramp. Cause like yeah, like here I'm too far away. I need Yoshi like right up against the ramp. So I don't yeah. I don't know, if I had one that was, like, perfectly placed on top to where I could just fly up here, and then I just happen to land, like, I tumble and I just land, like, right here. I don't know. Sounds kind of crazy, though. Here's that, here's the banana. Banana strat. Go over the ramp and just back up. Boom. I could do that. I could try to do that, actually. Maybe that's a better idea. Just slow down more, and instead of turning around, just go over the ramp, just straight, and then back up. Yeah, I think I'll try that. That actually seems potentially better. Yeah, you get so much air off this, even if you're barely moving, so it's like... I would, I would have to be going so slow, which probably makes it not worth it. Approach from the other side and bounce off the cliff. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, well, that, yeah, that is an idea, actually. Maybe I can perfectly... If I could perfectly tumble off this, it could be something. Then it might be worth it. If I just come over here and go boom. Oh, my God. Look at where I landed. Oh, man. <laughs> I need to re repeat whatever that was. And then all I, <laughs> dude, I, I, the chances of me pulling that off again are, are not high. Dang, this puts me right next to the side though. I mean, <laughs> maybe I should do this. Just set up right here. 
All right, what, what if I go flying? What if I just go flying into this, though? <laughs> okay. Is this... <laughs> All right. Boom, boom. Does the shortcut work from the side? I actually, like, this is the hard part, is I have to do this, and then I have to drive over here fast enough, which I should be able to do, but... And then bump Yoshi. Yeah. So. Maybe. See, now I'm way over here. How do I gotta approach this? Because I'm gonna have a star, too, which is bad, but... Oh my god. Nice. I have to jump. See, like, these aren't gonna work. I just, like, fluked some, like, god-tier landings. And there's just, like, no way. Oh my god. Or I'll do that. Great. And now I have to make sure that I don't j do a perfect jump. Oh my god, alright, this this idea is starting to look a little bit less realistic. Boom. And then... The bump. Alright, I'm gonna line it up right here and just hope. Peach got, has a nice view of everyone flying over the ramp. <laughs> I just look up and Yoshi just thump. <laughs> just right next to Peach. <laughs> uh, this, <laughs> this strat is the dumbest. Yeah, I might have to go back to the, <laughs> the other strat. This seems maybe a little bit less viable. Banana strat. <laughs> that... <laughs> There's no way. That would just be insane. I would have to hit it at the exact perfect angle as well. And hold it behind me like this, see? And make it place, like, right on the edge, like that. So now the fake item is, like, in the wall exactly where I need to be. Ah, bad driving. Ah, uh, this strat's garbage. <laughs> there, there was just too much air time, really. Where's the game put you if you out of bounds in the water near the ramp? It just puts you next to... Back, you know. If I went out of bounds, like, over here, it would just put me... Like, if I went out of bounds over there, it would put me in the same spot. Like, I could get that placement right in front of Peach here by going out of bounds in the water somewhere. Oh. Well, wait a minute. I see what you're getting at here. <laughs> this is a way better idea, yes. Oh my god. Alright, hold up. Okay, so now we have to figure out what... Where can I land out of bounds so that I get placed down right here? I need the... Uh, I need Forrest in here with his, his fancy circles. <laughs> well, let's just try right here. Well, that was easy. All right. This is definitely the strat. I mean, I just drove straight out here, so... Maybe I just YOLO it, and then I'll get used to it. I 
I mean, I just go way out here and just boom. Gotta get some kind of sense for it. All right, not far enough. I go way out here. Kind of where the curve is. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> this is too good. Who, who said this? I'm not even sure if this is what the person was suggesting, but this is this is the this is the true strat. This is yeah, this is what gives gives this like a real chance. Now I don't have to do the bump in the wall at all. And this is like the person who found this apparently was doing the bump in the wall, but this is way better. <laughs> the shrooms. All right. Come on. Ah, dang it. All right, I got stuck uh, too late. There's a banana there. Dang, I went too far again. I keep, like, going in thinking... Oh, God, no, I didn't. Oh, my God, that was it. I wasn't close enough. Well, all right, try again. Yes, got it. This is it. Sixteen ninety-seven. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> That's way faster. I don't know if this is worse. <laughs> we'll see. 1693. <laughs> One frame. Yes. <laughs> All right. It was pretty clean. 1683 <laughs> Did I miss that? Oh, I still got it. I thought I missed it. 1660. Oh. That was pretty good. Are we reaching the limits of Koopa Troopa Beach meme shortcuts? That was a really clean one, so I don't know. Double star. Double star for the... I mean, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. The double star. The run. Oh, please be the right spot. Yo, what is it? 1643. <laughs> All right, I think I'll leave it at that. That's uh, pretty decent. I don't, I don't know if anyone's pulling sub 16 here. <laughs> for the, you know, for the two people that will ever even try this nonsense. <laughs> 